Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to another episode of the Bankrupt Career Mode in FIFA 19, although technically it's not the Bankrupt Career Mode anymore. I guess you could kind of say in a way we are no longer bankrupt because we paid off the $400 million debt that we had accumulated in fines and overspending and all that stuff, so we've paid that off now by selling some pretty good plays from our team and we are significantly weaker. Our starting 11, we've been able to keep relatively intact, our defense is a bit weaker, but we paid off our debts and now we really have nothing else to worry about except for the whole can't make any transfers for the entire season. Yes, of course, one of the things that we had to take care of was the uh, financial fair play fine that we were given for breaking it. And on top of that, we got a one year transfer ban. So I can't bring anyone in, in this window or in the next one. All I can get is like youth players. So I can scout players now with the money that we've got because we don't have anything else left to pay. And I can get free agents. Although to be fair, with a club the size we are and in the Champions League, Premier League, and with the team that the players that we have, you're no, almost never going to find any decent players at a good enough level in the free agents. However, I got lucky this season. I've talked about him before, I know, but Lopez Vergara, I still can't believe I found this guy. He was in the free agents. He's 19 years of age, this kid. 81 overall. I don't know who he was playing ball before. I assume someone in La Liga, if he's Spanish, maybe. But, like, he just up and appeared in the free agents list. I went and signed him straight away. He... He appeared in, I'm looking in my global transfer network for promising players. He popped up in it. He was a free agent, so I signed him straight away. 81 rated, 19 years of age. Look at that mental and physical. His skill attributes maybe don't perfectly reflect his overall, but still decent tackling no matter what, passing and marking and all that stuff. Six foot four. I was shocked when I found this guy. And yeah, we um, are going to have to... Uh, do something, I don't know, with him. I, I've got to give him games. I don't know what his potential is going to be. Being 81 rated and 19 years of age, surely you'd imagine he could get up into the high 80s, maybe even further. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to give him a game at some point. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do it now against Cardiff and see what he's made of. So he's going to be going in as is Kyle Walker-Peters. They're the only changes. We've got about a week until the next game as well. So I can, I, I feel pretty good playing a strong starting 11 for this. Only those two. But let's see. I, so far, I have not won a Premier League game. I've Drawn my first one that I really should have gotten the win for against Everton. And the second game, we simulated against Leicester and lost 2-0. So we went the entirety of last season undefeated. Didn't lose a single game in it. And then in the second game of the damn season, we cop our first loss. I'm not happy with how we started. So I need to get on track. So Lopez Vergara at six foot four, getting a debut wearing the number 50. I look forward to seeing how he's going to go alongside Akanji at six foot four with the Physical stats that he has, I'm excited to see. Cardiff 2 still kicking it in the Premier League. They've got Smithies in goal, Tavernier, Ilori as well. Van Beek, Gonzalez, their midfield. Patterson, is that Callum Patterson? Man, Zahore, and Acerich, I think, on the left wing. Interesting team. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how... We'll see how they go. I'm not going to take it easy on them. I want to try to pump them if possible. I haven't won a game in the Premier League yet. I've got to get, I've got to get going. No time. Wasting no time! No time! First attack, killing Mbappe. What did I tell you? Oh, I just... I, re oh, I want to win this game 10-0. I'm not even kidding. I want to smack these... I want to smack these boys up. Well, there you go, killing Mbappe. Good to get your first Premier League goal in the third game, but that's all right. Well, there's more where that came from. Conte. Downtown! Oh, that's gone wide. 15 minutes. Wanted to take a long shot with him. Because he's surprisingly good, Conte, at uh, pulling from outside the box. But that is a little, little wide. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, I was about to say, Conte's had some good opportunities now. And he's just, I don't know, that time been blocked, to be fair. that it, it was right in his way. Well, that is quite possibly the worst damn free kick I have ever seen. And, oh my god, I nearly turned that over, you know. Mbappe... Ball into the middle here. Left-hand side. We've got it to him. First time hit this. And it's in. There we go. I thought that was going to get blocked too. But Neves finally makes it too. I have genuinely put the pressure on myself today to make a statement and to win big. And thankfully, we look to be on track for that. I, I'm genuinely trying to get like a massive victory. You have no idea. Good, good, good. Nice, nice. All right, that's, that's better. I've just had Conte on the end of too many chances. That's probably the main reason. There we go. There we go. He's off here. Mbappe, he's off. He's off to the races. I might sweat this. And smacked home by Wea. 
Yeah, just about got it there to make it three before the half. Originally, I was thinking, I'm just going to try to straighten up here with Mbappe and shoot. But in the end, uh, defense was catching up. Was able to find a way to get it to Weyer. And Weyer gets his first goal of the season in like the fourth game of it. It's been a little while. And to be fair, I mean, with Weyer scoring like every single bloody game it felt last season, I've got high expectations for him. But it's all right. We got the first of the season with him now. All right, half time, and I, I said I wanted, I put the pressure on me. Big, big win. I will not be happy with just a 3 0 win. I want to go even deeper. Oh, Neves. Got a little clip there, but still haven't created the gap yet. Maybe here. Oh, oh maybe here. Neves, just wide. Saliska, good little intercept. Mbappe. Is there a cross on here? Could just go the whole way, you know. He could just, oh, about, but over the bar. Mbappe, please, come on. Anyway, quick change. Nevis can come off. Barty can come on for, uh, he has, no, he has made an appearance before. No, I was about to say it's his first appearance of the season, but no. Oh. Bang, oh, look at that. I had to do that. I knew, I, I sort of knew I wasn't going to get there. And I tell you what, I've set up this little counter, but look at Lopez Vergara. I think Way is going to be in an upside position, but that's cool. Oh my god, that was brilliant on the one-on-one. -on -one. Defender comes, yes, and now we've got Mbappe. And Mbappe, a little tired, but I'm still going to try to go here. And go. And go. And, oh my god, saved by Smithies again. I am just not going to score in this fucking half. Oh god, please boys, I beg. And you just all run away from the ball from the fucking corner. All the time right now. There you go, this time. Oh, saved again by Smithies! Guys! If it, it's a good thing we fucking mauled him in the first, because if this was how the whole game went, I'd be fucking livid. They're defending like they're, it's nil-nil right now. Weyer, of course he won't win the header. No one has won a header. Corners are fucking useless to me right now. They don't do anything. Even though I can deliver a pinpoint perfect ball in, it doesn't fucking matter. I will never win a header right now from a corner, but that's... I, I, I legit feel annoyed leaving this game. Like, how is it only 3-0? But okay, fine. It's our first win in the Premier League. We'll take it. Finally, three points after the first two games ended in a draw and a defeat. Now, we basically just have to keep going up the table. Just a couple of shots and chances that we just kept putting straight at the keeper or over the bar. Like, fucking wankers. You're wasting my time with this shit. Please get it on target. We could have ended that game. I would like to think if we converted... All of our real good chances could have been six or seven. So we are currently 10th in the league after just three games. That's fine. 35 more to go. And we're waiting still for the group draw to take place. The next game will be against Newcastle. And hopefully that can be another win. With a week-long break, I can put out a very, very similar team. And it looks like finally the group draw is done. Now, we have got Inter Milan, uh, PSV, and a club from Moscow, whether it be Lokomotiv Moscow or Spartak Moscow, a bunch... All right, we get three brand new teams that I don't think I've ever played or faced before. I saw Napoli in there, Leipzig, and I can't quite remember the other one. It was Basel then. Napoli, RB Leipzig, and Basel. That's an interesting one. I, I wonder. I do wonder. Of course, you know it's on us to try to get through that group and probably get through on top. But honestly, I, I, um, be, I'll be interested to see how that group goes. But yeah, we'll get onto that in the next episode. For now, we'll just look to see off the month of August and this final game in the month of August against Newcastle, hopefully with a win, get ourselves up more toward uh, the top half or the top six of the table, the Champions League spots, than just hanging around mid-table like we are now. It is coming down pretty hard today in this one as well against Newcastle, but I wonder what their team looks like exactly because they, they've made a... I, I recall them making a few interesting uh, transfers, Newcastle United. But okay, let's do it then. Another game in the Premier League, again, this time against Newcastle. And they have made some interesting transfers, I believe, in the past. But yes, Dubravka in goal, and their back line, Gomez, Perthel, or Perthel, whatever, Nathan Ake's gone, and Alberto Moreno, interesting. Jacob Murphy, Thomas Olwar as well, Ocampos, Lucas Ocampos. Uh, not quite sure. No, I, and I think that's Max Phillip, if I'm to be correct, from the Bundesliga originally. But okay, interesting looking Newcastle team. And look at this. You, 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 you cannot forget about Mbappe. Oh my god, over the bar again. Are you fucking serious? The next one that does that is getting dropped. I don't give a shit. I'm sick of it going over the crossbar like this. I swear I'm not putting that much power on it. 
I think we worked that pretty well, you know. Oh, but Mbappe. Oh, he might still be able to get onto this. Maybe no, Dubravka. It's just on the edge of the six-yard box. And it looks like they might have a man down. Go. No, it took too long. And Mbappe, you took too long as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait a minute. No! Oh, no! I've just realised what I've done! Oh, I'm such a fucking... No! Oh, they had a man down and he was keeping him on side. Fuck! Fuck! What have I done? Oh, god damn it. See, I thought... I was like, Mbappe, why did it take so long to go there? He's keeping... Uh, the injured player is keeping him on side. You know what? I did that on purpose. I kicked it out on purpose because that would have been... Uh, it wouldn't have been fair. Uh, so that was just like fair play, basically, by me. I'm just a really good bloke. That's 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 my defense. Wow. They just run up the fucking middle, and then the second the ball gets to a campos, he just shoots. Like, he's just... Oh, look at that. Oh, great blocker, Kanji. Last-ditch effort. Brilliant stuff. And is it going to lead to a counterattack that hopefully we could make them pay from we will see oh look at Conte go here but a good slight tackle from behind that's a really this whole game's just been a brilliant showing of excellent defenses from both teams it's to be admired in a way but it's still annoying regardless get that ball to Mbappe he didn't pass it there's still a run being made it's still Neves Sane it's it's a mistimed effort it's a just it's the worst offense you've ever seen in a game of FIFA but some of the best defense I think he's onside here, maybe. I think he is, Sane. He just about is. Stop and turn. Oh, sharp turn that. Shoot. That has somehow gone in. I don't even know. I thought I, I thought I messed up even that attack. That must have taken a deflection. The keeper just stood and watched. Not sure how. Look, at just a sharp turn to get by the defender. And the shot, it's just... You would almost think it's like a chip or a mistimed effort. I don't know what the hell is going on there. How did that number five not tackle me? And Dubravka just watches. Bizarre, but it's in. My God, did we need some something to happen for us? Because God knows I wasn't getting a goal without some shenanigans happening. That's for damn sure. Johnny makes a tackle and kicks it straight out again. Gosh, he just couldn't fight for it. I don't know how that one's got through, but it has. Sane, can we end this thing? You know they're all going to close in. They just, they just get either side of you. So no matter where you go, you're going to get tackled. And look at how quickly they're going to go here. But Johnny, another fucking tackle that bounces right in front of him. Like, why even bother? And a Campos. That's going to... Yeah, this is going to work pretty well for him. Oh, dear. That's going to be dangerous. Trying to pick these off. Trying to get the way the crosses. It's just not happening. Makile heads it away. Way out. Just even if you get on a run here. No, Spinozola. Had to be him. Please don't let it be him. Not like this. Laporte, bang it away. Thank you. And I think we may just hang Oh, we're going to hang on. Yes, we will. We probably won't get this attack. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. It doesn't matter. The game's over. I might try a cross in and hope for the best. Nah, it's right to the broker. Ah, uh, who cares? It was a game that was summed up by its goal. Fucking shambolic. It was ridiculous. I don't even know how I feel about getting three points from this game because I don't feel like I deserve it. Fucking trash. Fucking shit. I'm sorry. I wasted your time. I'm a wanker. I, I'm apologetic. I apologize. This is not why you watch my... This is not the quality that you watch for. Well, I'm glad that game's just over and done with. My goodness. Uh, looks like Lopez Vergara's already gone up to an 82, despite... You know, I definitely didn't train him up to an 82, so he's just naturally going up, which I'm not surprised about. I mean, he's only 19, but oh boy, am I excited to see where he's going to get. And with that win, we go up to third in the Premier League, although there are a couple of other teams that hadn't played, and I think we probably have dropped off now, but still... We've got a couple of other transfers. Now, we have raised the 400 mil, but with that said, there are still some players I might look to let go of anyway. For example, Fernando is 30 years of age, 82 rated, barely playing any games at all. So I'm just going to delegate and try to maybe not get 27.5, but 22.5, we'll say. Just get a little something, something around that 20 mil mark. Get him out. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it. Like David, I can probably hang on to still. Michele, Fry, they're hanging around and we won't do anything else for anyone else. But like, there are some players I might still let go. But we will see if we do get any other offers for any of those players that I might look to let go. As a matter of fact, we have three emails. A transfer offer for White, Nicholas White, a goalkeeper that we recently promoted from the Youth Academy. So no, Michele offer attracted interest shown in Upa Meccano. 
Again, I'd be, I'd love to go and grab some other players, but I uh, can't do it. We've got that one season ban. It's the bankrupt career mode, boys. It's not really the bankrupt career mode anymore. It's more the just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just the, it's the transfer ban career mode at this point. But a little over 20 mil for Fernando. I can accept that. I, I can, yeah, that's fine. For a bloke who's in his 30s and only going to drop off further, that's not playing for us. Yeah, Fernando is going to go off to Everton. Seven hours in now, or seven hours left to go anyway. A loan offer for Price. Transfer offer for Mikile. Probably not going to entertain any of those. Just got confirmation that uh, Fernando was sold off as well. And my God, look at the... We have seen some insane deals get done. We're halfway through. 700-something mils already been spent. Yander Groot, uh, a one-year loan deal from Juventus. Now, you've already taken Loftus-Cheek off us. I'm not giving you Yander Groot. But look at this. We're halfway through the deadline day, and we've already got 700-plus mils spent. The top deal is for 130 mil. I don't know if I've ever seen it get over a billion. I kind of want it to, but I don't know if it will. We're up to 750 now, so we're three quarters of the way there. Offers retracted for those players that I wasn't going to look at. Come on, I just need two or three real big ones. Oh boy, 831. That is massive. Loan offer now for Murillo. Again, I'm not... No more loan offers, nothing like that. Let's just keep advancing. Let's see. I'm not going to sell anyone, not going to bring anyone in. Obviously, it's a tiny... I don't think we're going to get to a bill. We do have this transfer offer, though, for N'Golo Conte. Now, he's kind of in the same boat as Fernando, but at least he's starting, and he's 90 rated. But 31, definitely going to start dropping off. I mean, I, I'm not going to maybe sell him in this window, but this I could maybe, 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 maybe sell him in January. I There's no real point in me doing that because I can't replace him, but I just feel like I do need to cash in on him eventually. But for now, no, no, I will not do that. We'll advance forward again. And it looks to just be 850 million spent with the top deal being Artur going back to La Liga, this time to play for Atletico Madrid for 130 million. Top deals include, and we should be quite a fair few of these, I reckon. Uh, Artur with 130 mil, of course. Bilotti for nearly 100 mil. Kimpempe we sold to Real Madrid. Romagnoli going back to Milan. We sold Hernandez to Barcelona. Pereira to Liverpool. And what else? Koulibaly to Milan. We've got, of course, Martial going to Liverpool. We, wow, we did sell some uh, decent players to Liverpool. We've strengthened them this season, haven't we? I hope that isn't going to end up being a mistake, selling so many decent players within our own league. But regardless, Loftus-Cheek going for $55 million to Juventus as well. Anyone else that we sold for big money? I, I can't off the top of my head recall. The only other one in when it comes to the top transfers is like Diogo Rossi to... Oh, Napoli. The team that we ended up drawing in our group stage. So we may well face Diogo or Diego Rossi again in the in the Champions League group stages when we face Napoli. But well, there you go. We are finished for the month of August. We're now in September. We are fifth at the moment after four games though. But again, only four games. We will need to hopefully kick on. Oh, Jesus Christ, though. But right at the end of it, we ended up getting this from Liverpool. We, we've already sold too many players. I'm not letting Taliska go, even if we do have to raise money. And especially, I'm not selling to Liverpool again. But look at this. Anderson Taliska, 106 mil they offered for him. Holy hell. And we could get him for 147 mil if we wanted. I still don't want to let him go, though. I mean, he's just, again, what did I call him? The talisman. I, I said he is he is the demigod, so no, I can't let him go. And Everton also wanted to pick up Sharp End here for 50 mil. I mean, 19 years of age, 84 overall. He's going to be class in the future. Uh, we just brought Jan Oblak in so we could have basically 90 rated players almost everywhere. But um, at some point, Sharp and Tier is going to be my main keeper. So no, I'm, I'm going to keep him here. But uh, yeah, goddamn. Um, all right, let's just kick on then with... But damn, 100 mil for Taliska, my God. Um, yeah, we'll kick on though, because I'm not entertaining that. But if we wanted, my God, could we bring in some cash? That's that's crazy. But Neil McGuinness now, I'm going to send him away to England again. Basically, that's all I do. So yeah, he's going to go back to England once more. But now, I'm, I'm trying to go to two, again, random countries that I haven't been to before. I'll tell you what, I, I might think of one. There's one country maybe I might go to that... To be fair, they're, they're back on the up after struggling for a bit. It's the Netherlands, so we'll send... I mean, they basically got the same flag anyway, you know. You just, just swap the white one, or you put the red one on top, and it's basically the same flag. So, all right, um, Emil or Artama, Artamanov, that's right, my Russian scout, will send to... Uh, I was about to say... Um, <laughs> I was about to say Deutschland, no. The, uh, to the Dutch. We'll go and send them to the Netherlands. And Alberto Conti, uh, where do we send this lad? I... Where haven't I gone yet? Um... 
Uh, I tell you what, I haven't actually... I haven't done it all, all career mode. We're five career... We're five seasons deep. I'm sending someone to Australia. I'm sending Alberto Conti to Australia. Come on, let's get... Let's get some Aussies in this team. I am an Aussie myself. Come on, we've got to... Let's just, let's just get it going. So it's England, Netherlands, and Australia. But all right then, I will leave things here with the 1st of September. We'll go month by month by month now and kick on with the team that we have. Continue to develop the Youth Academy players and strengthen my bench players and reserves as much as possible now that we pretty much only have Youth Academy players backing us up now. We have got a bloody strong starting 11, of course. We have got a very, very impressive bench full of 80-plus rated players, but everyone else... All the reserves, almost every single one of these guys are basically, um, how do I put it? They're, they're basically Youth Academy players. So we are going to have to, de we're definitely going to be developing our own our own uh, Youth Academy promoted players now. But uh, look, we got Dale Fry, Gibbs White, who else? Ah, um, oh gosh, we've got David as well. That is literally it. Everyone else is a regent. But it's exciting, you know, we are almost ushering in the new age, or we're about to usher in the new age of the Wolves team, won't we? I mean, uh, that starting 11, hopefully a few of them are there to stay, but the the new class or whatever, the, new, the next uh, era is definitely on its way through. It's marching through that reserve system, and maybe we'll see a few of them actually break into not just our bench, but maybe even our starting 11 sometime soon. But we will see how that all unfolds. For now, anyway, this will do it. We are going to, again, kick on with the Premier League, get the Carabao Cup started in the next episode, as will we will with the Champions League. And like I said, we're on for the sex tuple. We're going for the sex tuple. We could do it. We've already won the Community Shield and the Super Cup. If we get the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League, and Champions League, simple, right? We could do it. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, until the next episode, my name is Masterbox. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day.